What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, we'll be working on this project. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so looking at this print, there's actually two ways of creating this part. You can either uh, sketch two circles and then extrude, or you can sketch the outline, half the part, and then revolve it. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, sketch half of the part and then revolve it just to show you the revolve feature. So the first thing is go ahead and create a new file and then specify your units. We want a millimeters according to the print and then go ahead and name your file and then choose your folder destination and then go ahead and click OK. Alright, next we want to make sure our auto dimensioning are off. So you want to come up in the file under preferences, click on sketch. You want to make sure the constraints and the continuous auto dimensionings are checked off. So go ahead and click OK. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and create our sketch. Click on sketch. Choose your plane. Click OK. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the profile. So I'm going to create a line coming down and then out, up, coming back. Alright. So now you, you notice down here it says sketch needs 24 constraints, so we gotta constrain it and dimension it. And this is the reason why I, I do auto dimensioning off, just to show you the different constraints and different uh, dimensioning that we can uh, make. So uh, first thing is go ahead and highlight your lines and make them horizontal or vertical. Going up, this one is horizontal. Click on horizontal. We want this one to be vertical and we want this one to be horizontal and this one vertical. Alright, so now we're down to 18 constraints. So uh, we'll go ahead and connect your endpoints. Now, even though you, you think they're connected, but they're not. So you gotta manually connect them. So select this line and the endpoint. Make sure it's highlighted in yellow. So the endpoint of line 1. And you want to make them coincident. Now we're going to go around and do the same thing to all these points. So go ahead and do that. We want a coincident. Connect your endpoints. Now if you press and hold on your mouse on the left, it's going to give you this option, the quick pick. So we want to make sure you're choosing the right line. Alright, so we still have six constraints. We'll go on in dimension, give it dimensions. So click on rapid dimension. This one here, we want it to be 80, which is half halfway of the part. So type in 80. This one is going to be 16. This line you want it 68. And then this one here, that's 45. Type in 45, press enter. We want to constrain the points back to the X and Y. Alright, once you've done that, your sketch should be fully constrained. So go ahead and close out and finish. Alright. Once we have that, go ahead and uh, click on the revolve feature. And then the six curves should be selected. You want to specify your vector, click on this line here.
now we have our part should look like this go ahead and click OK alright now the next step is uh, we'll go ahead and create these holes we got six of those 15 millimeters in diameter so we'll go ahead and do that click on hole alright and then we want the holes to be on this face so select this face alright next We want it to be uh, 60 millimeters from the center, so dimension it to the center. Put in 60. Close out. And then we want it in line with the center. So we want to make sure vertical alignment. The sketch is fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. Alright, and then uh, the print. It's calling out to be uh, 15 millimeters, so in the whole diameter type in 15. And then you want it through body or until next, which means to the next surface. So same thing, leave it at that, go ahead and click OK. Alright, we have our first hole. Next we'll go ahead and create a pattern going around, so click on the pattern feature. You want to select the feature, you want a pattern. So we want this hole, and then we the layout, we want it to be circular, so going around. Specify your vector, come down here. You want it on the y-axis, so select it. Specify your point, it's going to revolve around the center, so select your center point. And then this, we have, uh, we set six of those, so type in six. And it's going to be a span angle at 360. So after that, go ahead and click OK. Alright. Alright, once we have that, we'll go ahead and create a hole. Go ahead and create another hole. We want it on this face. We want the point of the hole to be centered. So go ahead and make them coincident. Once your sketch is fully constrained, go ahead and finish. All right, so this hole is uh, 78 millimeters. And then the depth limit, we gotta choose a value. And it's gotta be 25. So go ahead and click OK. Alright, so we got this hole here. Next we have a counter bore coming off of this face, so we'll go ahead and create a hole. So under the form, you wanna select counter bore. Alright, so the counter board diameter is 50, and the depth is 25, and the actual hole is uh, 26 millimeters going through. We'll select this face. Alright, so your sketch is fully constrained, go ahead and finish. Alright, so it is 50 millimeters counter bore. The depth of the counter bore is 25. And then we got 26 millimeters going through. Under the value, you can say uh, through body. And then go ahead and click OK. Alright, so now lastly we got to work on these four here. They're at 45 degree angle from the center. And then we got four of those. 
eight millimeter diameter. All right, so go ahead and click hole. We want to select this face, make sure it's a simple hole. Close out. All right, so first we got to create a 45 reference line. So come up in the line. We want this line to be 45 from this. So give it an angular dimension. All right, so it's at 45. Go ahead and connect your uh, endpoints. Go ahead and do that here. Alright, next we want this uh, point to be on this line. So make a point on curve and then it's 35 millimeters away from the center so give it a dimension. We want it to be 35. Close out. Our sketch is fully constrained. And you can make this line actually uh, as a reference line so you, you can right click on it and then convert to reference. So now you can see the lines hidden with dotted lines. Go ahead and finish. Alright, so this holds 8 millimeters. And then under the depth limit, you want to select uh, until next. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, next we'll go ahead and create a pattern as we did on the top ones. So go ahead and click on the pattern feature. Go ahead and select the pattern, the feature that you want to make a pattern. So select this hole. We want it going in circular. Specify your vector. It's always the, the vector that's coming out. So the y-axis in this case. Specify the point. So this is the center point. And then we want 4 going around at 360. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, there we have it. Alright. Next, I want to go ahead and hide the sketch lines. So under View, come up in the View, go to Move to Layer, select your object, and then Inverse Selection. That way it's going to select everything else. You got eight objects. Go ahead and click OK. Move it to a Layer 5, which is a different layer than the working layer. Next, you want to click on the Layer Settings. Then you want to hide the Layer 5 that we just created. So that way it's going to hide everything. Close out. Alright, and lastly, we'll go ahead and change the color by uh, pressing and holding Control J. Select the object, click OK. You want to select the color, choose your preference, click OK. There's our part. Alright, there it is. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time.